So I'm here with Shane from Michigan and he's been living on the road for the past two months now out of a Chrysler town and country. He's got a really awesome conversion and we're gonna check it out. Let's do it. So you want to show us around? Yeah, sure. Let's see what's inside. All right. So I went with the uh, Westphalia style of uh, camper here. I built a little swivel table. Um, I can swivel this out to here so two people can dine. Goes back into position here, locking position. Got myself a Berkey water filter. I uh, put a stainless steel bowl in here for a sink. Uh, more storage underneath the um, cabinet area over here. I uh, keep my fan and some other miscellaneous items in there. Uh, back here I've got my inverter and another uh, a lighter charging station if you would. Let's move over to the couch here. So I've got a six inch uh, standard foam mattress. It's pretty comfortable, it's kind of firm, but it's working for now. Um, below the mattress, I've got a bunch of storage, pretty flat storage. Uh, these are also drawers. This is my jewelry making station here. Um, other random storage, this is kind of kitchen stuff here. So the town and country has uh, stow and go seats. I took those out and I was able to uh, turn these into functional storage units. Uh, on this side I've got all my clothing. I can fit quite a bit of clothing in here. As you can see, my t-shirts, pants, etc. Uh, left side we've got my kitchen. Keep all my spices and cooking gear in there you pretty much just have like two suitcases built right. into the, yeah. <laughs> built into the floor yes yeah i mean i put i made these little window covers here uh, put some black felt on them this is uh two um layers of uh, reflectix um then i've cut some holes in them and i was able to uh, put some screens behind the windows and these windows roll down so if I want to cook here, I can uh, easily ventilate this area and keep the bugs out. Uh, another little peephole here, just in case anything goes on outside. I can check what's going on outside. Yeah, I also put a little metal, thin little metal sheet up here. So when I am cooking, if splatters or um, the flame doesn't uh, damage the upholstery up top, yeah, it um, keeps the smells out too, I can imagine. Too. Totally, yeah. totally. So you're not really running any sort of a solar setup or anything like that? Like you're using a just a regular cooler for your refrigeration yep, and correct. then yeah. charging your devices. You The town and country has an inverter built in, is that how? Yes, it? yep. I got an inverter. Um, the vehicle has to be running. Yep. So I normally charge uh, my iPad, my phone, my battery pack, or my little miniature fan. Um, uh, while I'm driving around or doing DoorDash or things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's nice um, to be able to uh, do that. And that actually brings us to another point. How do you support yourself on the road? You said you do the DoorDash a little yeah. bit and that's been working out pretty well. DoorDash has been working pretty well, guys. Um, I can work whenever I want. I can schedule my deliveries or yeah. I can schedule, yeah, like I said, I can schedule, I can um, work on your own schedule and exactly and then also so you also do a lot of jewelry making as well though yes correct. you'll do that at your um like you go to festivals and stuff yep. and yep i like to go to music festivals i make uh, wire wrapped handmade jewelry um yeah just stock up during the off season and then uh during summertime i go to festivals and sell my wares there yeah, and he has a lot of it available on his Instagram as well. We'll put a link in the description below to his Instagram so you guys can check out some of his work. It's some really cool stuff. So uh, my couch it consists of a three-quarter inch plywood um, board here. I drilled some holes in it, uh, stained it, polyurethaned it, and I to keep the backrest up, I put some paracord in with a carabiner to um, make it so I was able to have a backrest. And right now I will show you guys how to put it into uh, the bed situation. Unclip my carabiners. 
here's one, here's two. Pick it up, pull it out, lay it down. I got my stainless steel legs here that clip in. And there it is. And then I keep my uh, sheet back here. There's the bed. Easy process. Yeah. Easy to break down. Pop the legs in. Pick up my uh, second mattress here. Slide her back. Take my paracord carabiner system here. Lock it back in. There's one. Two. There it is. That's it. In couch mode. So the town and country again has stow and go seats. I took those out and in the third row, I was able to turn the third row into uh, more storage. I keep eight gallons of water down here, uh, miscellaneous storage, and uh, yeah, just a bunch of storage um, underneath my bed in the third row seat. All right, so at nighttime, I put up my uh, Reflectix, which is right here. I, st I store it right there, and I line that up in the back window for the back window. And for the front section, I'm using a curtain rod system to block off the front cabin uh, from the back cabin. So I wanted this table to be super functional because I'm going to be using every day for multiple purposes. So I um, had the idea of uh, creating a sheet tray pullout that allows me to have a, another surface area for me to work on, prep on, uh, use in whatever way I wanted to. For the swivel feature on this table, I used a downrigger, which is used for fishing. Um, to allow the fishermen to allow the fishermen to um, put their rods in and out of the water, so I just kind of took it and ran with it, and it actually works pretty nice for the uh, table swivel. So, what made you decide to uh, to hit the road like this full time? Um, I just really I really haven't explored much too much out of Michigan and uh, the uh, the Midwest, so I wanted to explore and. I'm still young, so I chose, I've been watching a bunch of YouTube videos in the past, and I saw all the different builds and all the different places people were going to explore and see, and I kind of wanted to uh, get in on that, so I chose to uh, uh, build my own and uh, have my own adventure. Actually, first met Shane well over a year ago, back when I was in Michigan in 2017, and I got to see the initial stages of his camper at that time. He had already had the bed pretty much done, the bed setup was done, but he hadn't really built any of the shelving or anything like that. And it was really impressive what he's done with it over the past year to really make it into something that works for him and is comfortable for him to live in on the road, especially with what he did with the stow and go seating. There's just so much attention to detail in that build, and as I was filming the tour he had given me a tour a couple of days before that just without the camera and then when i was getting my second tour behind the camera i started noticing things that i hadn't even noticed the first time that he gave me the tour because there was just so many little details the stow and go for example he had to build this entire wood support system underneath the stow and go seating in order to make it work when he removed the seats so that there was a support there and now we can use it for the storage system and really what he did with it is just it's very impressive i really like what he did with the stow and go in particular because now he has this entire open floor space that he can use that makes it really comfortable to just hang out in there for the day. But then he also has a bunch of hidden storage compartments where he can keep all of his food and his clothes and everything like that. So just, I really thought it was pretty cool what he did with the whole thing. And the bed setup is really neat as well. What he did with the table setup was just so cool. The swiveling table, I never really seen anything that was that versatile. He's able to actually use that table outside the van. It swivels all the way to the outside and then he can use it inside as well. It just really seems to fit his 
needs on the road. Thanks again, Shane, for taking the time to hang out these past couple of days and for helping me out with my camper conversion as well. It was a lot of fun. Be sure to check out Shane's Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below and run his handle along the bottom. I believe it's Shane the Creator. And he's got a lot of really cool stuff on there, like we said, especially featuring a lot of his jewelry work and the things that he does to make money on the road. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you all in the next one.